What is up guys? Welcome back to Subnautica. So I did manage to recover uh, most of the things that we lost and the prawn suit after last episode. And so now we have the orange tablet and here we are uh, back at the alien base. Um, before we go in, let's go ahead and check out the audios that we had uh, found. How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. How are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid. I brought you some. Is that... A leviathan? Outside. Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here. When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops, tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. A rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mader appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then, I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now, I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Well, he did. And this thing needs to stop. <sighs> All right, time to go check it out. Creature egg.
coral specimens. Seem like much back here, but all right. Well, I guess we head back up to the surface. the Cyclops. Grapple arms sure don't have much range. Come on! Back to Cyclops.
There it is. No, you've got to be kidding me! Unbelievable. Oh man, oh man. Alright, I think that's enough for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Jeez.